A hyperlink is a link that when you click on it, it'll take you somewhere. Well, in this example, I've got a picture here that's also in my presentation that if somebody wants a complete view of it in full screen and they like what they see, well, I believe it's slide six. Yep, right there. Well, they're going to see it before we get down to the slide number 15, but what if we right clicked on it and we had it hidden? Because I don't want to cover any slides that people don't have an interest in, so I'm going to have a collage on slide 15 and say, okay, here's some of the places that I visited. And they're like, hey, What's that slide right there? Can you tell me more about that? Where is that at? I think that's Alaska. What you can do is you can convert it into a hyperlink that when you click on it, it'll jump right to slide six, even though it's been hidden from the presentation, and reveal it. That way we can look at it in more detail and say, yep, there's that peak. I remember seeing that when I was on vacation in Alaska. In any case, to go ahead and convert that into a hyperlink, you can do it one of a few ways. You can either select it and come up here and click on the Insert tab, and then go to the links group and there you go click on link opens up the insert hyperlink or close out you can also right click and insert hyperlink on it as well left click there we go now we're not looking for another file or web page which we'll talk about in just a minute like if I have another file on my computer another presentation or I want to go to a website like my website let's do it within this document select it and hey there's all the slides and oh not only all the slides but also any custom shows that I have so when I click on it it can jump right into like the intermediate shows so when somebody goes hey I really want to know more about this place maybe it's not intermediate maybe we have it labeled as you know the three different options here this is Alaska this is well, some other place we'll call it Antarctica it looks like it's got some ice there and then, well, whatever that is, and go ahead and listen there so we can go ahead and begin a custom show tailored to anybody who has an interest in what they see here. Doesn't that sound cool? So I can link it right to it. Otherwise, if nobody says boo to it, I can just bypass it, not click on it, and not have to go to a custom show. Cool. So you can do it that way, or like I said, you can link outside of it, which I'll show you in just a minute. But let's scroll up. And as you recall in my earlier training video on hiding slides, that whenever you see it in parentheses, that means that it's hidden. Of course, that was during the presentation view. When you held down the shortcut keys, Control S, and it listed all the slides in the presentation, and the one that was hidden had it in parentheses, well, that's okay. Select it, and hey, there you go, the preview. So I know that I have the right slide. Click Okie Dokie, and that's it. Well, let's go ahead and click on Slideshow and then hover over it. I get the finger pointing saying that when I hover over this it's a link. Hover off of it it's not there so if nobody comments I can just click to go to the next slide but they're like wait a second hit P for previous. What's that one right there? Click on it and we get the hidden slide now coming into full page view and they can go wow that's pretty. I really like that. Is that really ice there up along the ridge? Cool. And then I can go ahead and click and it doesn't jump back to where we were but it continues from that hidden slide on so that brings up a good point hit the escape key if it does bring up the hidden slide and I want to jump back to the last slide viewed well we know how to do that when we're giving our presentation you can right click during the presentation and go to last slide view in any case let's scroll back down back and select it and then if you want to make changes to it or delete it you can well right click on it and you get the option to edit the link and make some changes, choose another slide. You can remove the link while we're here. You can also have a screen tip to help you out that if anybody has any questions about where this picture was taken, click on screen tip and say, well, this was Alaska. And it was like, let's do something like that. Then click okie dokie. So when you click OK and you're giving the presentation, click on it. You hover over it, give it a second, and it pops up. You get just a synopsis of it. And if you're like, yeah, I really want to know more about that, or I'd like to see it in full detail here. Do you have a bigger picture or another presentation? Well, I do have a bigger picture. Click on it. It takes us to slide six. Let's hit the escape key and right-click on it, and you also get the remove link there as well. And it's gone. No more links. Okay, next, what about an external hyperlink? Let's go to the last slide. Like, hey, about me. Let's go ahead and click and drag and select my name because if people want to know more about me, like what certifications do I have, how long have I been working, do I have a website, well, all that's information is at my www.dreamforce.us. So I can go ahead and select it, and when I right-click on it, if I'm careful, 
I can actually, with it still selected, right click and not have it deselected to bring up the shortcut menu to go ahead and select hyperlink. And then I don't want it as a place in the document. Let me click and drag this up. I want an existing file or web page. So an existing file would be somewhere on my desktop or on my computer. But I want to go to www.dream. There we go. And then it fills in the rest of it. The HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, www.dreamforce.us. Great. Go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And you can see now it's hyperlinked. So let's go to our presentation slideshow. And when I hover over it, you can see the pop-up, the URL, click on it. Hey, there's my website. Hey, go ahead and buy a video. Support the cause. In any case, let's go ahead and close out. And let's hit the escape key to end the show. And let's go ahead and right-click on it. You can change this and say, well, instead of going to website, how about if we edit the link? And instead we look for, how about another presentation we can jump to? like my Dreamforce. Let's go ahead and double click on that. And it doesn't have to be another presentation. It can be another document or another file on your computer, maybe like an Excel workbook in any case. So that's how you do it to go to another file, in this case, another presentation. Let's go ahead and begin our slideshow. Hover over it, click on it, opens up that presentation from slide one. It only has one slide. I wanted to keep it simple. And so when I'm done with it and I click at the end and it ends the show, Click on it again to exit. goes right back to our original slideshow. And then hit the escape key, right click on the selection, and we can remove it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.